Hello and welcome. In this video clip, we will learn how to conduct correlation analysis. As the name suggests, correlation analysis or correlation determines the strength and direction of a relationship between two variables. It could be between a dependent and an independent variable or between independent variables. The relationship between variables could be linear or nonlinear. And that relationship could be positive or negative, as we said that um, correlation determines the direction of the relationship as well. So the relationship could be positive, which means that if we increase one variable, the another variable increases as well. The negative relationship means that with a decrease in one variable or a de with a decrease in the value of one variable, another variable increases. The, these two plots show here the positive and negative correlation between two variables. This is a positive correlation. As the number of hours of revising a lesson increases, the exam results improve as well. This is a negative relationship which shows that the more the flu jabs are given, the less, less, of the, less people or fewer people are affected with flu. So we see that there is a negative trend here. When the people with flu are, with the number of people with flu is higher, there is, it shows that there, there were no flu jabs given. But as the number of flu, flu jabs given increases, the people affected, number of people affected with flu decreases. These two plots show here the nonlinear relationship between variables. We see here that the relationship is not following a linear equation, rather it's some it, it's a nonlinear with some power or exponential relationships. Major of correlation. So how do we know that whether a relationship between two variables is better, is weak, is good, or it's strong? The quantitative measure, which is used to determine how well two variables are related, is called major of correlation, or we call that variable as coefficient of correlation. What is the coefficient of correlation? If there are two variables, let's say x and y, then the coefficient of correlation is the ratio of the explained variation in y by x divided by the total variation in y. Now, for example, let's say that our variable x is the speed limits at different roadways, on different roadways, and y is the speeds of the vehicles that we collected in the field. So y is a dependent variable. It is the speeds of the vehicles that we collected on different roadways in the field. And x is the posted, uh, x is a variable which is a collection of the posted speed limits of the, uh, of the roadways where we collected the speeds of the vehicles. Now the explained variation or the variation in y, variation in the speeds of the f vehicles that we collected in the field, by the variation in posted speed limit divided by the total variation in the speeds of the vehicle. So the explained vari the, the variation which is being explained in y by x divided by the total variation in y that is called the major of correlation or the co which is or it's determined from the coefficient of correlation. The coefficient of correlation is denoted by gamma and it varies between minus 1 and plus 1. When gamma is equal to is equal to 0, it shows that there is no correlation between the two between two variables. If gamma is plus 1, it shows that there is a perfect positive correlation between two variables. If gamma is negative 1, it shows that there is a perfect negative correlation between variables. Now this plot here, if this in this case, there is no correlation between the variables. The data points are scattered all over the place. There is no trend, no uh, correlation between x variable between variable x and y. So in this case, gamma is zero. This is a positive, perfect positive correlation. As the values of incre x is in are increasing, the y is increasing as well. This is a perfect negative correlation. As the values of x are increasing, 
the values of y's are decreasing. If a co uh, coefficient of correlation is close to plus 1, we say that the, uh, the correlation is between two variables is strong or is, is good. The closer it is to 0, the weaker is the relationship. And likewise, if the uh, value of co coefficient of correlation is close to minus 1, then again we say that there is a strong or a good negative correlation between two variables. However, if it's close to 0, again we say that the correlation between the two variables is weak. Now we'll use SPSS to see how can, how can we conduct a correlation analysis using this software. Uh, this is our speed data. Speed, this, this is the speed of the vehicles collected in the field. Posted speed limit. Now posted speed limit, let's go and change this to their actual values. These values are labeled, so we will change them to actual values. Let's come back here. Now we see here that these are the posted speed limits of, dif of, of different roadways, 45, 40, or 35 miles per hour. This is the speed data of the vehicles that were collected in the field. Lane width, median width, access density, uh, which means that the number of driveways or access number of driveways on the roadway between uh, two intersections segment length or the length of a roadway between two intersections now we see here that the median type uh, variables median type and land use these are the two uh, categorical variable Co we, when the variables are coded in a text format or they are categorical variable the, we cannot determine the uh, or the correlation analysis could not be conducted for these two variables because it's for the correlation analysis or for the Pearson correlation analysis for the continuous we need continuous variables or the numeric variables so click on analyze and then go to correlate we see here that there are three different options bivariate partial and distances we select bivariate for uh, for simple correlation analysis or uh, for between on in for continuous variables and then we check on Pearson Kendall's tau is conducted for uh, or we, we conduct the Kendall's tau we select this option when we have the categorical variables and then uh, let's select two tailed let's see what's in the options it says we do we want the mean and the standard deviation well, as well if we need if you want to uh, find out or we want to know the value of any of these two statistics we'll check these two so it's so now let's select the variables between which we want to determine the coefficient of uh, or we want to conduct correlation analysis so let's say speeds of vehicles posted speed limit width of lanes median width excess density and segment length. Now we see here that among all these variables we don't see median type and land use because these two variables are categorical variables and coded as text or a string. And then we hit on OK and let's see what do we have here. This table or this chart tells us gives us the values of uh, coefficient of correlation. Now this let, speed of vehicles collected in field and it the, all these uh, cells here shows that how the speeds of vehicles collected in the field is related with the posted speed limit, how it's related with the width of lanes, median width, excess density and segment length. In here it says that how posted speed limit which is in this case in the case of this data set it's an independent variable is uh, correlated with the with this dependent variable which is the speed of vehicles and other independent variables this value of one the one that we see here it's the same so speeds of vehicles def absolutely is perfectly correlated with its with with its own like with the speeds of the vehicles now speed of vehicle the relationship the strength of the relationship between speeds of vehicles collected in the field and the posted speed limit is 0.67 which is a very which is a good relationship which is not weak it's not close to zero rather it's more it's close to positive one this sign the positive sign here shows that 
as the posted speed limit on the roadway increases or or the roadways with higher posted speed limits have ve have vehicles traveling on uh, with higher um, speeds given that that the the traffic on those roadways is very low width of lanes now the, this relationship is weak which means um, that the width of or the lane width does is not in in case of this data set is not strongly or uh, or strongly or it's not explaining the variation in the speeds of vehicles very well likewise it's a, this median width is closer to uh, it's not even closer to 0.5 so again we say that this the relationship between in case of this data set the relationship between median width and the speeds of vehicle is not very strong access density very poor relationship there is almost no relationship between the driveways the number of driveways present on a roadway and the speeds of vehicles again it is in case of this data set and then segment length yes this is a good this coefficient coefficient of correlation 0.58 or 0.59 i would say is it's closer to one and it says that there is uh, some variation in speeds of vehicles is explained by the segment length or the distances between intersections um the two the steric here it shows it's, it's explained here it says that the correlation is significant at 0 0.01 level in case of one steric it says correlation is significant at 0 0.05 level correlation is significant at 0 0.01 level means that this for this result we are confident we are 99 percent confident that the speeds of the vehicles collected in the field and posted speed limit are uh, there is a strong relationship between these two variables in case of this one steric it means that we are 95 percent confident about the results that we got here